Today we're going to be checking out some comments from some games that I've played and and some that I haven't gotten to yet. And don't worry about GeForce, I'm really using it as, as B-roll footage. Let's go! Alright, start with the first one. Yes, yeah, scary. My girlfriend was terrified. I have a girlfriend. It's true. Edit. We broke up. <laughs> it's sad to think that you would play a game and it would cause a breakup. What game is this? We're gonna find out in a minute. This game is too scary for my goofy white to finish. It is scary, but I don't think it was that scary. There were some really good jump scares in it, I will say. You don't say! I myself, you can pay $6.99 to need new pants. I <laughs> Really? Oh, look, 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 I understand there's some games that are just too scary for you to play. And maybe you shouldn't. But if you're into horror and you're serious about it, like I am, you can play just about any genre of a horror. In Mother Russia, apartment lives in you. Did it happen in Russia? I'm not sure. That's a good one. I'm gonna have to look that up. This game made me want to do a poo. <laughs> poo. A girl had to play it for me while I held my pillow. That's sad. <laughs> That's really sad. So basically the girl manned up and played it for you. The girl, the girl had, more, had courage more courage than you did. That's basically, That's basically what you're saying. saying. Polish Apartment Simulator. Excellent work. And it was. I thought this game was good. Not only that, but the suspense and the atmosphere is really what drove it home for me. Because that, honestly, you don't really see it very much in some games some horror games so kudos to them on that i pooped, I pooped myself. myself no i didn't but this person did oh my god you really exploded someone cried i'm scared this game is great i hate it every second so did i i, I hate it and i love it would recommend it to horror fans who can handle a cardiac episode <laughs> i would agree just to be on the safe side shouldn't you give me some cpr mm. <laughs> Oh, this must not be English. I don't even know what that is. Made me and my two friends poop pants. Why has everybody got to poop pants? Disgusting. Come on now. now. One friend switched nationalities. <laughs> That's serious. And the other had to man the whole playthrough. 10 out of 10. Would play for speed runs again. It was. I would give it. I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10. I would give it a 9 out of 10. Because there are some things that were lacking in the game. And I'll talk about that later. Never again. <laughs> But it was a thumbs up. Pros and cons. Funny naked man. What are the cons? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see what's on your mind. It's a horror game. You want that kind of game? You need to be playing something else. And, and I'm, I'm just not in that kind of mood right now. 20 out of 20. Would never play again. Straight not having a good time. Straight not having a good time. But yet you gave it a 20 out of 20. Sound like you, you like the game to me. It just scared the mess out of you. That's what it did. I had to change my pants a couple of times. And another one. Again. Good horror game. I always recommend it to people trying to get into horror. It was a great game, actually. Sucks, donkey. Shut your mouth, S.A. That's because it scared you. POV holiday in Moscow. If Moscow's like that, I would never want to visit. Okay, first off, you can't see in the dark. And not only do you get looked at by an old... Then you got to run around, turning lights on, that literally shut off in the first. Mama's wrong again. <laughs> I stand there to give my heart a break, and you got <laughs> doors opening, children singing, laughing, breaths. This <laughs> right here is why you will never make it past the age of 30. Developers suck. <laughs> don't play horror games. If you don't like horror games, don't play it. That's all I gotta say about that. You're gonna trash them for something that you decided to play. They didn't force this on you, you played it. And it's psychological. You're supposed to have doors closing, lights turning on and off, and kids breathing and laughing in the background. It makes it scarier. And to that note, it's actually scarier hearing kids laughs than adults laugh in video games. I hear that a lot in some of these psychological horror games. They always have children laughing. Children are creepy, a lot more creepier than adults. Okay, so with all that said, what game is this? This game is From the Darkness. This was this was this this. Bro, what are you talking about, man? I played this one on my channel a little while ago. I really enjoyed it. I thought that 
it was very well done there was only really one scare that got me really good we had to get the pliers or the the clippers from the closet and you turn around you saw that face that big old ugly face that got me but yeah i thought the game was all right you know it wasn't bad all these people here they're exaggerating and if you don't like horror games don't play it all right next game 10 minutes in creepy vibes no scares game ended because i farted and my mic detected that <laughs> okay how close well actually you know what it's really sensitive because this game uses your microphone kind of like some of the other games i played it didn't use it in from the darkness but i get it any little bit of thing you breathe hard and you're out of this game most of you probably already know which one this is but Let's keep going. The developers actually responded to this. It took us a lot of effort to implement such a feature. Different types of farts had to be calibrated. Thank you for the review. Follow me on Twitter for more in-depth fart calibration tutorials. <laughs> this is insane. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh-oh, stinky. Uh-oh, stinky. My cat meowed and I lost. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Finally, a woman chasing me. That's sad if it's only happening in a video game. Really? You you wouldn't want this woman chasing you. <coughs> Ew, that's no bueno. I lost because I burped. Uh. Didn't cream. The only way I would scream playing this game would be if someone was under my desk using a taser. the demo or trash them and then even after relief that they, they still have post release edits to good that's what you're supposed to do and in case you haven't figured it out yet this game is don't scream don't scream is another one that i played that frustrated me i don't think i i don't think i beat it actually now i'm thinking about it i need to go back and finish it and try it again maybe but don't scream frustrated me a lot especially towards the end because it got harder for me to find where I needed to go. And then I figured out the pattern of the, the woman that was following you. Uh, I figured out her pattern and how to avoid her. And she, she tells you to hide and you're supposed to do that. Just hide. But I wasn't doing it right for a long time, but I ended up figuring that out. But I, I don't remember. It's been a while since I played it, but there was somewhere I was supposed to go and i couldn't make it there and i think that's what got me and i got frustrated and i ended up just quitting the game but i'll go back and check it out maybe one day i don't know but yeah this one is don't scream and i had fun with it all right next game do not buy does not work will not refund spend 80 minutes over months and waiting for updates pass the time without much gameplay what can I say about that? You know, if that happened to you, then yeah, the developers need to step it up. So what I say about that, it's broken. A lot of bugs, I don't know. I can't counter the devil while I'm in the cellar. Demo version is better. Mm, this person had an early access. Not good ending. I would agree with you on that. This game has a lot of potential. The bad reviews are just teething problems because of early access. I have total faith in this development team. I can't wait until the small problems have been ironed out. That's a nice review. And I would agree with that. Especially when it's early access, you got to give them time to fix stuff. All right, that's that's why they release it early to some people for you guys to play it and give them your feedback. You can't trash and problems that they have to fix. So be easy on them. You know what was a great example of that? Cyberpunk. You remember when Cyberpunk dropped and how that game was just straight trash everybody was review bombing it and look at it now it's playable it's back in the market and all those bugs that that it had they don't have them anymore still haven't played cyberpunk by the way i like to play it and a game that i'm talking about in this one is hellseed now hellseed was one that left me unsatisfactory yeah you know, i wasn't completely satisfied with hellseed it wasn't extremely scary doctor and the baby that was walking towards me in that, I don't know where I was. I think I was in the bathroom or medical examiner room. I don't remember where I was, but that was the only part that really got me. And the story wasn't all that great either. It wasn't a bad game, but it wasn't a great game either. It was just, mm, 
Nah. Yeah, you know what I mean? So I understand some of the frustration. And then there was this one long review that really went through a lot of the problems I had. I don't have time to read all of that. I'll put a screenshot here. You can pause and read it. So yeah, Hellseed wasn't a bad one. I, I thought it was uh thought it was alright. That's it. Just alright. Alright, next game. This one is starting off with the average girlfriend experience. If you experience this in a girlfriend, you don't need to be with her. <laughs> This one refunded it and just put wood. Wood what? But your mom is sweet. Which it probably did. According to many folks, the developers has allegation of being a racist, homophobe, and transphobe who's trying to cover his tracks and hide behind another company name. Whether that's true or not, the game design is dated to make the experience super tedious. The scares completely take control away from the player and play out as a cutscene. The voice recognition doesn't have any use and the finale rests entirely on so many clues that players is unable to keep track of in-game and are also case sensitive. Okay, I don't know if that was worded right, but whatever. The gameplay loops in its entirety is to spot something on CCTV, wandering aimlessly around to look at certain spots, usually flashing lights, and takes a mental note of the clues that appear in blood. Didn't even bother with finishing the game after the frustrating final puzzle. Refunded the game and caught it on YouTube. So, you got close to the end but you didn't finish because it frustrated you. Why not just finish the game? Seemed like you put a lot of time in it anyway. Just finish the game. Two, what does the homophobe, transphobe have to do with anything? Most people don't even know that. And I'm sure a lot of these other reviews don't have that in there. But whatever. I do agree that the gameplay loops in its entirety and everything is like spotting on CT CCTV. However, I disagree that the voice recognition is useless because there are a few times that I got caught because I was a little too loud and it actually works yeah it works not well but it does work all right because you talk long enough she's gonna spot you come to where you're at and kill you so that i disagree with i do agree with the the fact that they they took out the jump scares and made it a cut cut scene but most deaths are cut scenes anyway especially in horror games if you think about it if the entity whatever it is that's chasing you gets you it's a cut scene i just finished playing um the playrooms and every time I died it was a cutscene the centipede got me I enjoyed it so that's normal with most survival horror games this is not a bad review I, I, I like this one a lot scam game and literally the most boring thing I've played don't touch it even with a stick full of <laughs> that's, that's pretty harsh I don't think it was I don't know is it a scam now I'm starting to wonder what do I not know about this game Oh, check this out. Game tries to grab concepts from the old Alison Road and completely steals everything from it, including the main girl. Compare to Alison Road's trailer character, and it's exactly the same. Not inspired, but the same. Really? Besides, it crashes way too much. It crashes on me one time. Alright, so maybe they fixed that bug when I before I played it, but it crashed it on me. It crashed on me once. I do remember that. The optimization is horrible and the game feels slow on purpose so you reach the two hour and you're not able to refund it. Really? You can't refund it after two hours? Ah, uh, did I miss that? See I never really read any of these reviews. Uh, this is my first time like actually reading some but I already played this one. It's not to you that it asks you to play for more than two hours at the start. Absolutely no. Interesting. I didn't know that. I never thought about Allison Rose. I never played that one. So may have a point there. He did say one thing in this review that I, I agree with. The game does feel slow on purpose because you're walking everywhere. You can't run in this one. Another thing I learned. And in case you're wondering what game this is, this is... Super normal. Super normal was uh, was one where I played where I was in a uh, I was a detective, and I had to investigate the death of Mr. Sakamoto's 
daughter and it turns out that he was behind her disappearance but the gameplay itself it was slow I, I do remember that it was extremely slow and at times it was a little boring but the microphone worked for me and I didn't have any issues with that and like I said the jump scares they're cut scenes but that's what any game really the goal is to to jump scare you not to to keep you scared so you jump and that's it then you're dead that was that but the game itself it was overall it was okay i i wanted to see more from it i didn't think about the pacing of it and them wanting you to play for two hours so you couldn't refund it i didn't know that was a thing if it if it is let me know all right next game beat the game in 43 minutes and deleted it right after the next day it installed back again by itself really <laughs> what game does that First time I got scared from a horror game while not playing a horror game. 10 out of 10. Maybe it's your computer. Or maybe you just didn't delete it. Maybe you thought you did and, you know, you didn't. <laughs> this game made me... There you go. More of this crap. This one refunded it. Well, let's see what he said. Refund it. At first I was scared. Then I nearly myself. Then when I thought next jump scare, I'll definitely myself. The game ended. Too short and linear. That's your complaint? just being short i don't know i don't know if that warrants a, a refund but i guess you can refund for anything <laughs> the milkman scared more out of me than if i took laxative 10 out of 10 that's pretty bad really really bad that a game would literally scared the would be nice if the game had a story maybe more gameplay i do agree with this one because this particular game didn't give you much to deal with it just threw you into a room and you're going well it's actually a house and you're going through the, the rooms in the house and you had no story behind what you're doing. So this one I agree with. The game scared the crap out of me. Not much of a story, but was really scary and well done. I agree, ditto that. It was scary, it was well done, and the atmosphere is really what took it to another level. I don't know how some games can do it and some can't, but this one definitely did. Who needs story when you have a good jump scare? Who needs story when you have a good atmosphere? This game is a walk-in simulator with a handful of jump scares. Not an awful game for $3.99, but save the money for extra guac at Chipotle. Guac, this, guac, this. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this comment, because I do like me some guac. The guac the game wasn't bad either but for the purpose of this video i'll skip the guac oh! and play the game because the game wasn't bad very short with absolutely no replay value and the reveal at the end is very boring because you can look down at your character's body and notice something is off it's cheap so get it if you want but other than that it's very short it is very short and it doesn't really have a replay value so i do agree with that most most horror games don't you, know, you play it once and that's it you already been through it you know it's not like an open world uh game most of them are linear anyway so i agree with some of this foreign game ngl bad okay so what game is this this game is psalms 5 9 13. this game really spooked me out especially the entity in it creep that creep the mess out of me i think this is one of the first game that actually made me curse on the channel I don't, really, I don't usually do that, but I don't know why it's called Psalms 5913. There's no story behind it, so they write about about that. And it was very short, so but it it wasn't it wasn't a bad play. I enjoyed it. Check it out. So anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you like to do more videos like this where I just go through reviews and. Check out comments. Let me know in the comments down below. And with that being said, I'll catch y'all in another video. Take care. Peace.